With the Ottomans completely out and uh, very much never going to be a threat to Europe for the rest of the game, we set our sights on India, uh, the subcontinent of spice and trade. We plan to take most of that trade and send it into the English Channel, where we will be collecting many, many, many millions of ducats, it feels like, and uh, we will be very rich. We're going to be able to build up to over one million men in the field and push for na or, uh, naval military hegemon, which will allow us to get an additional 20% siege ability and a 10% movement speed on top of our 10 we already have from our policies. Less attrition and uh, national unrest. Very, very good stuff. Province war score cost is also quite useful. Really? So we also get war exhaustion, spy detection, and war score cost. That is super, super good. Military hegemon is solid. It's just much harder to get than economic, in my opinion. So yeah, these guys over here just need to get destroyed. That's all. That's all. We'll force march over, no big deal. I don't need to be full min full morale. Fine. Shift consolidate. Head on in and beat them up. If they want to dogpile, they can. Man, they're really throwing bodies at me. Woo-wee. All right. Well. Yeah, it looks like I might lose that siege there. <laughs> Russia is uh, not sieging this down yet. Kind of annoying. Hopefully they'll get over there soon. We're making progress on sieging down the Mamluks. Looks like it might be time to get another army over here. These guys are not actually conformed to an appropriate template either. Weird stack that they have over here. So if you don't know, if you, you can do this investment here, which gives you local defensiveness as well. So this siege will take a little bit longer for them. It's 400, but it gives you the defensiveness basically for the rest of the game. Let's see here. Let's um, get most of you guys consolidated down and then get a couple of the cannons. Let's get the cannons consolidated down and then that'll just make it so they'll regen a little bit quicker now. Yeah, they got a lot of men over here, but they're, they're going to be taking some attrition, so we're good. And look at this. They siege a I love it, dude. This is why you give your sieges to your forts. Or your sieges to your marches, rather. Let's see a Volhini over here, just looking good. Wonderful. Canal project in the Mamlux is ahead of time. I love it. Thank you. Thank you for letting me know. These are good things. So, I'm curious. Can I get them off that fort there? I would like that. 21%. Ah, oh, they won it. I am so sad. I'll take the abolishment of slavery. Oh my gosh. Do we want to get rid of slaves? Do we do it, chat? Or peanut gallery, whichever you prefer. Yeah, I'll just take this back. <laughs> Thank you. Come again. <laughs> Not bad. Uh, I will actually refill the garrison as well. And then we'll just come over here and chill for a minute. And that will allow our boys to regen. These guys down here are getting grouped up. Let us abolish slavery. It gives us missionary strength, though, which is kind of annoying. Only 10 years, though. Stab cost for us to game tax modifier. Who cares? All right, let's get rid of the slaves. Uh, do we have many slave provinces? Not really. Just a few. Yeah, we really don't. A couple in uh, Northern Africa. Let's see what we get here on the monthly ticket should update. The price abolitionism. Mm, very good. Wool. Very good. Wool. Dyes. Dyes. Fish. Tropical wood. Fish. Ivory. Livestock. Livestock. Tropical wood. And fish. Very good. Let us take this tech. I don't care about being ahead of time. That allows me to have cannons that punch much heavier, much harder than uh, they do. Because I guarantee you they don't have mil tech on me. Uh-uh-uh. Let's get our morale up. And uh, we'll head on over and uh, start punching them in the face with better cannons. Well, actually, they have no general on that fort. Are you dumb? You guys are such dumb dumbs. Such dumb dumbs. Oh, sadly, we do not have a um, discipline guy. That's unfortunate. But uh, look at that. That's what a cannon advantage will get for you. All right, so. Let's have half of you guys head up here and let's put, um, so 
So it looks like one of our generals has passed. Get another one. Phydric Augustus Baffin. Three siege, not bad. Long may he serve. For God and country. King and country. Get you guys up here. Discipline is preferred. Sadly, not the appropriate culture. So let's get rid of you. I'm okay with morale or discipline. Either is fine with me. As long as they are promotable. Discipline is... Morale is not. Um, I think I favor discipline. So... Ideally, we get a discipline guy. Choo-choo. Let's go speed five. Still no discipline. We'll take that admin tech whenever. I'll wait till the yearly tick. Industrial Revolution. Thank you. Some free mana. Or free dev in London. Let's uh, do a little bit of this here. That way, if we want to do any development later on, it'll be cheaper for us. We don't get much money from tax at this point in the game anyways. I will actually show you how much money we, we make from tax. 110 versus almost 500 from production and almost 800 from uh, trade. So, as you can see, it's all right to exploit your tax dev. It's really okay. I'll go one more month and then I'll just put the morale guy on there. Okay, we got a discipline guy. Very good. How close are we to 100 mercantilism? 78. Making good progress. All right. Give that fort over to Georgia. Get up here to Janpur. Get you guys over here. So Russia is like very slowly starting to get these guys occupied. Kind of annoying how slow they're being about it, but it's okay. Let's have half you guys head over there. We don't need to put them all on there. Put you guys over here. Put you guys over here. Regrettable. Okay, those guys are over here. I don't care. The Danish separatists, I... This is annoying. I don't care. We're being rebellious, dang it. Why are they rebellious? Religion. Separatism still. Intolerance is a big one, though. Hey. 100 ducats. For free, dude. For free. Free 99. Georgia, Georgia, Georgia. Get up here to Doab. Let's have you guys head over to La Sex Worker and siege them down over here. Sir Hind, actually, that's their capital, so that's fine. They actually never took that fort. Oh, yeah. I almost don't believe that. That's crazy. They were on that for a long time. Very good. And uh, we just need to ride this out. I'll take that tech there. Production efficiency is good. How much does that affect our trade or our production income? 488. So it's 34% of our. Oh, that's our production efficiency. Very good. Kirina Catchow. There we go. White piece. We'll have this army come down here. These guys, I'm going to take everything that I have claims on. Just makes it cheaper to core it. We're, you know, we just took admin tech, so we're not in a huge rush. Obviously, we want to make sure that we are able to uh, actually core up our stuff. So, I thought I told you guys to come down there. Let's build ships. Ship cost is nice. Let's build this. So, is there anything that I can do that will give me force limit? Supply limit is nice, actually. So, let's build those. Ugh, clicking the water is just pain. Pain, pain, pain. So, yeah, the uh, supply limit over here would be very nice. So let's do that. Supply limit and uh, African areas just tends to be synonymous. So this gives us manpower, but not force limit. But I'll still build them anyways. We have plenty of money. And there's no reason not to. Gosh, dang it. Oh, dev cost, right? Yeah, I don't plan to dev these areas. Oh my gosh, this is so stupid. Paradox, please. 
Paradox, please. Also, don't we have... Do we have this guy over here? Did I upgrade it already? Isn't there a building? A, a wonder? Oh, it's over here. Right. Okay. Let's take a look at our... See if we have anything that we want to be upgrading. Uh, we could also take the Palace of Bangkok, which gives governing capacity and absolutism. A impact, vassal force summit contribution. Maybe. Advisor cost, diplo rep. Do we have the Petra upgraded? We don't even have the Petra. Well, that'll be useful once we integrate him. To be honest with you, I'm probably going to take that from him. I guess I have to take two of them. So it's okay. So I'll take that. And then I will also take... Um, where are we at? Mamlux. Here we go. Seize land. This province here. Come on. I have to core it first, apparently. This is stupid. Okay. Anyways. Okay. So these guys are in India. I don't care. So we're good. Let them pop. Fine. Oh, dang it. They're dogpiling on me. Let's get them in there. Oh my gosh. We got stack wipe. It happens. That's dumb. Let's get you guys up here grouped together then. All of our forts are own, are being held by Georgia, so that is fine with me. Let's have you guys force mark down. This is jungle, so uh, I have a feeling these battles will go fine for me. This is farmlands even, so this is great. No general, no problem. Yeah. How's that feel? Good thing you guys attacked my little stack there, you punks. Was it worth it? <laughs> yeah, once we core this up, we'll be able to take the Petra, which will be good as well. Oh no, they're making some progress on the siege. Oh no. They got a wall breach. Oh no. Let's convert those for uh, rebel rebellion issues. Uh, force march over and get them off that fort. This is uh, my property. And uh, let's just get these guys occupied. So I will take all these forts that are in this area that I plan to take for myself. Did I get a claim on his capital? I did. Very good. So I'm actually going to take... I kind of want to take Dhaka as well, just because it's a fort. And this will allow us to take a few more forts from them as well, which is great. Hmm. Okay, what about instead of Dhaka, we take... So that's a trade area, trade. Let's do something like this. Something like that. That's beautiful. It's a lot of overextension, though. We'll come back for Dhaka. Yeah, this is fine. We'll come back for it. We'll come back for it. This is good. Just have to get these guys full occupied. Belushistan wants out, so I'll let them out. Have you annul your alliance with them? Easy enough. And uh, we just need to carpet siege these guys down, let their war exhaustion stack up. We'll eventually get it. Russia's also going to start sieging them down, or continue sieging them down, rather. Eh, it should be fine. Just going to wait it out. Got some armies taking attrition over here, so let's just split them. No reason for them to be taking attrition. Eh, these guys over here, it's fine. They'll survive. There we go. That's the peace deal we're looking for here. And uh, just like that, we're looking good. Yoink. 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 Is that everything we took? It is. So it was 121. Sub 90, or sub 100, even better. And I can core it all. Calculated, that is so calculated. Let's go. How about it, lads? And lasses. 
I have women that watch me. I, I know you. I see you. My analytics tell me. If you were a gal, leave a comment down below and say, Hey, I'm a girl and I watch strategy gaming videos on the internet.com. Girl power. Let's, uh, let's see here. Yes, we do it. All right. So if that is the case, let's have you guys conform to this template here. Let's get, uh, what's our combat width now? 38. So these are still good. Let's have our backup armies be 40k. Uh, we have a lot of men we need to be building over here. Let's get another army with a cannon stack and then get you guys over here as well. Almost at a million. Almost. All right. Um, let's have another stack over here. I'm fully aware that we're going to have men that are just going to be kind of sitting around not doing anything. This will be our home guards here. We still need an extra 20 some thousand men. Let's have these guys. Okay. They are already being conformed to it. These guys are good as well. How many cannons are we building right now? Yeah, that's that's plenty of cannons. Let's just build another stack, right? Um, let's get another stack over here in Georgia. And that puts us over a million. It's going to hurt our income, but uh, yeah, I don't think we're too worried about it. Wahhabism. Ultra conservative, if I recall correctly. Traditionalist sort of stuff. Transoxiana. Disputed succession. Aragon. The 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 uh eternal revolution. <laughs> Dude. I uh I'm leaving this on purpose. Like people comment, they're like, please can you annex Aragon? No. I won't. I won't do it. I love it. I'm protecting them. I am protecting them. I've sworn to protect them. They're actually our overlord, if you guys didn't know. Aragon is the one leading the charge on this campaign. This is all Aragon. Very good. Suppress them all. Kill them. Destroy them. There we go. The Danes have been converted. They will no longer be little whiny babies. Keep on uh, converting stuff that is Anglican. Let's uh, add you to the trade company. Put one click there. Upgrade you. Oh, I'm at war, right? I can't do that. Eventually, this one here. Let's get you converted soon. Need to make sure we're continuing to convert all these guys. It's just good for us. I know we have our uh, missionaries, or not missionaries, our uh, people. Tidor over here is colonizing so much. That's crazy, actually. Hungarian revolt? I don't think so. That's why I built up all these units. Not really, but that's what we can say. That's why I did it. Am I done corn you? Not quite. Swing plow. Very good. 70% done annexing the Mamluks. Very good. When's our next idea group? Soon. So, yep. Not bad. That's even with the extra Diplo mana. That's awesome. Right, so let's uh, make sure we're converting the provinces that need it the most. 25 months, not bad. I just want to core this so I can take the Petra. I suppose we should just upgrade it all the way before we take it. If you don't know, uh, they fixed it so that whenever you annex a vassal, it no longer downgrades it. So it's quite useful. The Diplo rep will help us integrate our vassals quicker. Plus the uh, envoy travel time is nice as well. And um, I can't believe I've ne I haven't gotten the event to take Gibraltar from them. It just hasn't happened. I really don't know why. I should have, but uh, I haven't gotten it. 
and uh, we can now proclaim military hegemon. And uh, I got a lot of comments before also telling me, don't do it, your vassals will get mad at you. It doesn't apply anymore. I promise, my friends. Vassals no longer get the military or the hegemon issues. So, enemy invasion imminent. So now you can see here, we get the 10% war score cost just for having it. And over time, it will stack up modifiers will get unrest movement speed the reason why economic has good because you get um goods produced 25 percent which is really strong minimal autonomy and territory is very strong so basically it just allows you to snowball even more let's um just maximize how much trade power is in the world Factories, build a few of these, especially in trade company regions. Speaking of trade company regions, let's make sure that we are maxing out how much governing capacity we are providing with buildings. We're good. We're looking good. People are getting pieced out now. Sadly, man. I would really love to push for a personal union on Russia. How funny would that be if we enforced religion on a PU Russia? I love that Satmi over here is allied to Russia. That's also quite funny. Yeah, we might as well build a few of these. Also, it looks like we can build another furnace. Donde? In my vassal's lands, huh? Really? How many cool provinces do you have? Three? Four? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven coal provinces you have over here. Uh, yeah, we should probably build those, right? That would be intelligent. Let's uh, build these up. That'll help out his economy quite a bit. And then once we integrate him, we'll get an additional, you know, 35% goods produced bonus. Pretty solid, right? Coal is a win more mechanic. If you're winning, you just win even more. Let's uh, get rid of these buttons here. I was told that that will help out with uh, the lag. Revolutionary ideas. No, I don't think so. We'll suppress them. I do not think so. We tolerate none of that. Naval maintenance modifier. That's okay, I guess. Uh, I think, if anything, I like Napoleonic Warfare to take down sieges faster. That combined with our siege that we already have, our siege um, ability, it's uh, quite strong. Target the Catholics, who cares? Not me, I don't care, I'm not a Catholic. I'll target them, doesn't bother me. So, continue to get to mercantilism. And then, uh, yep, that's all of them. That's nuts. So we, it looks like we have another coal province down here that I missed. So let's get rid of description center here. Build that there. What is our force limit at now? Almost, yeah, very good. I'm still making 600. Yes, yeah, very good. So where did the revolution spawn? Actually, I missed it. So the revolution spawned in Bengal. All right. So if they go revolutionary, we may be able to crush the revolution quite swiftly. That would be very good for us. Right. I should also probably yoink the Petra from them. Very good. And uh, I will core it. Shoot. I didn't know that I had a... There was a cultural tie to it. That's new. It didn't used to be that way. So we have to accept Syrian culture or Bedouin culture. Well, I guess I'll just state this, right? And then I can... We want Greek. and get rid of, like, Irish. Screw the Irish. <laughs> so... Let's just verify. It says Syrian is accepted culture. Very good. So let's accept Syrian. And there we go. For the rest of the game, we get plus two 
Diplo rep. Let me see here. Yep. Trading in Ivory is giving us two as well. And then we should get two from Petra. I'm not seeing it here. Oh, shoot. We have to culture convert this to Syrian if we want it, or I have to accept Bedouin culture. Well, that's a huge waste of my Diplo mana. Well, today I learned. I guess that's what I get for trying to game the system. Let's state you up. And um, I don't think it's going to be enough to accept it. Will it be? Where are we at here? Full state it. Breton, Syrian culture. Need at least 20 dev. It's only three. All right, so once we core this, we'll be able to get a bit more. So I suppose we'll just put local dev cost over here. We're uh, 14 years ahead of time on these texts, so <laughs> whatever, dude. I'm gaming it. We're gaming, boys. I am a gamer. Look at this. And screw it. There we go. And uh, now Bedouin is going to be... Where's it at here? Well, I need the Dipple points now. Oh my gosh, I'm so dumb. Pretender Rebels in Castile. Let's put them down. They are kicking my butt over here. Let's have these guys suppress over here. And uh, let's get... Uh, Jonathan Clive, still kicking around. Legend. Where are these other rebels at? Bengali Separatists should be handled. Very good. All right, guys. I think that's a good place to call it for the episode. We'll be out of this war soon. Uh, we're going to start integrating Castile eventually here. Um, since we have that extra diplomacy... Wait a minute. One of the following must be true. The culture is Syrian. Okay, so if the culture is Bedouin and we have it accepted, then we're good. All right, cool. So in the next episode, we'll hopefully see the fact that we're integrating these guys. We have to wait till we're done, but then we'll be able to accept it, and then we'll start integrating Castile as well. Uh, sadly, we do not make enough Diplo, so let's do that, and uh, that should be good. But yes, if you guys are enjoying, make sure you show your support, leave a like, subscribe, ding the bell, all that fun stuff. Uh, check out my Discord and uh, support me on Patreon if it's within your means and you want to do that. Linked in the description below. That's all I got for you for today. This is Chewy Shoot, and I'll catch you guys later. A huge special thanks to my top July patrons, Junk Binary, Mr. McFlew, Angelic, Bouncer Steve, Sprocket, Fat Man on Deck, Jay Eden, Jay Clampett, Jay Kapchinski, M. Dressel, R. Lawrence, R. Epp, Jay Baller, Lon Damon, Draco Arhavis, Orbit, Jankopotamus, P. Jarden, A. Vickman, Arkenglad, Harry, A. Murado, Jay Cutchell, and Winkler, R. J. Pilant, and many more. I appreciate you guys very much.